हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इफ यू न्यू हियर माइन मिस्टर फाइनली स्टूडेंट एड एड खराब पर एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज वेर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव टू नो एंड एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो इन ऑर्डर टू क्रैक आई टी जे विद रियली गुड रैंक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर्ड सिलेबस वेटेज एंड द बेस्ट बुक्स to prepare for IIT JEE and in this video we are going to talk about the timeline that you need to follow for next 2 years the timetable that you need to follow every single day and some really important things that you should never forget so this is the second part of the video series and let's get started call me baki nick is lucky then i'm innocent the timeline that you follow for the next 2 years will determine if you would get a really good rank or you would just not even qualify for JEE so listen to this properly because if you want to perform better than the toppers you first need to know what the toppers actually do basically there are two types of timelines the first one the usual one is a mixture of both covering the new topics and revising the old ones parallelly coaching institutions usually follow this in order to make sure that everything that has been taught in class is also being revised in a couple of weeks so that the students remember it forever this is actually based on the scientific method called space repetition space repetition is a learning technique that involves reviewing and Information at increased intervals to enhance long-term retention. It is based on the concept that spaced and repeated exposure to information improves memory retention. This method is especially useful if you are going to read inorganic chemistry because you read the same thing again and again and again at multiple intervals of time, so that you never forget it again. Got it? This is the first method. Now let's go over to the second technique, second method, second timeline. Some of the coaching institutions cover the entire two years' ka syllabus in just one year, and then they spend the rest of the year for multiple revisions. So 50% of the time goes in learning something, whereas the rest of the 50% goes in revising the same thing again and again. Just imagine how strong you can be if you just keep revising the same topic again and again for one more year straight. Sounds interesting, right? But this has its own disadvantages. For most of the students, this method gets so fast that they end up having bad. Backlogs. So this method is not recommended if you are like a slow learner like me. Got it? Chalo. Now as you know both the timelines, let me exactly tell you what you need to follow. If you are in a coaching institute, just blindly follow whatever they are teaching you, but also revise inorganic chemistry at regular intervals, and also keep regularly solving the questions of physics and maths which are already done in class. And this is going to be very useful when you are going to revise the same concepts. Because remember, the revision is the key. The more you revise, the better you get at things. And if you are not going to a coaching institute, just feel free to make your own timeline by the two methods that we just talked about. Or else wait till the mentorship batch of this channel gets released, and we'll make the perfect timeline timetable for you. Chilla. But with that being said, if you're making your own timeline for the next two years, make sure that you revise each and every chapter at least twice, and also leave the last two months for rapid revision and for solving mock test papers. And now, as you know what things to consider while planning your two years' ka timeline, let's exactly talk about what you need to do every single day, daily timetable, in order to execute your two-year plan perfectly. Let's go. See whenever I talk about the daily schedule I just get to remember of this one sentence your day starts the night before which means even before you sleep every single day plan your next day you need to have the list of the topics that you are going to study for how long would you be studying them when would you be studying them and how many questions are you and finally how many questions are you going to solve in that specific chapter or specific topic also make sure that you'll write all these things on a piece of paper before you go to the bed because it gets very easy for you to open the piece of paper see what's there on the schedule that day and straight up following the daily schedule on that specific day this is for a daily schedule but on a weekly basis make sure that you tick all these things which are there on the screen right now the first one is you need to learn new concepts you need to solve a bunch of questions at least 100 questions solve previous year questions and also make sure that you revise every single thing perfect and now as we just talk about the two years ka timeline and also the daily schedule that you need to follow let's talk about the five most important things that je aspirants usually forget or je aspirants usually miss out or je aspirants usually ignore during their two years of preparation the first one ncert is very important especially for chemistry and also for chapters in physics even if you want to follow a reference book just have an overview of ncert the second one coaching materials first even if you want to follow a reference material finish off your coaching materials first because these books are usually a collection of some of the best questions from individual books third one practice pvqs some of the toppers that i have seen during the last 2 years 3 years 4 years at iit kharagpur literally remember which year ka question is from which year ka paper that's how much they have like solved the previous year questions fourth one exclusive syllabus for jee mains and jee advance you need to have like a proper idea of the syllabus don't forget this 
There are some chapters which are only there for JEE mains. There are some chapters which are only there for JEE advance. There are some chapters which are not there in JEE advance. Fifth one, while you're sitting in an exam, try using concepts from different subjects to solve the particular question that you're solving right now. You'll understand this point more as we keep continuing, as you watch more videos from this channel later. But just remember that this point is going to be a lifesaver. We'll talk about this when we discuss more about how to solve questions, physics questions, maths questions, chemistry questions, Joby questions hai, in future videos. But but just remember this. Just note down this on a piece of paper. Theke? Chalo, so what did we cover in this two-part series? We covered about the syllabus. We covered about the weightage. We covered about the books, the best books that you need to follow. We covered the timeline that you need to follow for the next two years. We also covered about the daily schedule. And then we talked about five of the most important things that you... that 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 people usually forget while preparing for JEE, right? So now with that being said, the next video is going to be about how to study smart, how to cover a lot of chunk of syllabus in a very short amount of time. Chalo, bye bye, I'll see you later. Next video in five days about how to study smart, I guess, or maybe the one year strategy, okay? If you have any doubts, go to the comments, ask them. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye bye. I'm in the game, I was on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. First it was the Beamer, now I want the bench.